Good morning everyone, welcome back to the cabin. Uh, I laid these out last night. Now the front side doesn't have to match the back side. Um, because the front side is going to have the doors on it. So this will be a door. There will be two doors there, there will be two doors there. Um, when I build this other shelf there will be one big door in the corner right here. And there won't be anything separating these. So when you open this door you'll be able to reach around the corner. Open that door be able to reach around the corner because that'll be a deep pocket over there that won't really have any access other than these two doors and I'm going to fix it where you can reach around both of them. Um, the stock that I've got laying on the floor that's just primarily for plywood to sit on. Um, right here is going to be where the sink's going to go. So what I did is I separated these two because I do have to drill down through the plywood and into the floor. Um, right at the edge of that beam that's underneath here so that my piping can come up and I'll be able to clamp to it. So I separated these plenty enough for me to get uh, plumbing in there. And then this stock, um, I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use three quarter inch plywood. I thought about half, but I thought, you know what, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use three quarter. That way I've got plenty of strength in there. So that's enough for that to set on. And then I'll build another shelf in there. This is primarily going to be no shelf where the sink is. The shelf on this side, shelf on this side, up above. So the stock that I put across from here to there and up here, that will hold the second shelf up there. I'm trying to determine. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and buy the sink and bring it here and make sure that I've got when I stopped by the hardware store and measured it with my tape measure, I think I've got these correct. But before I go ahead and screw these in there, I think what I'm... Now this is just up here temporary. Got a couple of screws holding it so that I know where the cabinet's going to sit. Um, but before I finish putting these in there, um, I want to make sure that uh, that is correct. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the sink. That way I can bring it here set it down in when I get all my stock put together and make sure that it's going to work right. But in the meantime, I can go ahead and put um, this stuff together and I'll have it ready to go. Smoky Mountain Outpost, Patrick here. It's been a minute, sorry if I sound a bit congested, but I have been sick, but I'm doing marvelously well, thank you. Uh, I have a question for you. What would you say if you could enter for your chance to win an Airstream Interstate 24X? If you don't know what that is, click the link in the description box below, I'll tell you all about it, or Google it. It's a beautiful van, but that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today because we have teamed up with Omaze. If you don't know who Omaze is, they give away special, one-of-a-kind prizes and experiences all the while donating money to charities all across the world. So today, the charity, Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Today, the prize, that Airstream Interstate 24X. And you can enter for your chance to win. So let me tell you about it. Smoky Mountain Outpost, you're going to get a chance to score a custom configurable coach that blends luxury amenities with off-road capability and you can hit the road in the latest Airstream adventure van, the Interstate 24X. The Airstream Interstate 24X boasts quality, comfort, and cutting edge tech backed by the best in class safety and performance. It's going to be ready for anything. Plus, it's made to adapt alongside you with a configurable cabin that you can customize to suit any scenario. Whether you're mountain biking, surfing, or exploring off-road, you're going to feel right at home anywhere on the map. You're going to be able to take your family with you because it's going to seat six people. And it'll sleep too. The exterior color is iridium silver metallic. The interior color is red rock decor with wood accents. The special features, and there's a list of them, 
our air ride suspension, six all-terrain tires, a 42 inch LED light bar, an air conditioner that cranks out 13,500 BTUs, two exterior wash stations, an expansive solar power, a kitchen with two burner cooktop, a microwave, an energy efficient all electric refrigerator and freezer, a bathroom with a shower, toilet and sink, solar power, a side awning and a configurable bed. So again, where's the first place that you'd go exploring if you won this prize? Best of all, donations go to support the Jimmy Johnson Foundation, which is dedicated to assisting children, families, and communities in need throughout the United States. The foundation currently focuses on funding K-12 public education, primarily through their Champions Grant Program, which is awarded to schools located in California, Oklahoma, and North Carolina to help address critical needs. For your chance to win the Airstream Interstate 24X and support a great cause, click the link in the description box below or go to www.omaze.com forward slash Smoky Mountain Outpost. Again, click the link down in the description box below or go to www.omaze.com forward slash Smoky Mountain Outpost. Now let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. What I'm doing is I'm just securing these pieces that I've got lying on the ground basically to this front piece here, here um, so that they don't go anywhere and um, I may go ahead and put these two together especially with one up there at the top and work my way over to where the sinks going to be and I can I may go ahead and go ahead and uh, tie those together because I can always move them uh, but I, I think my measurements are right um, but I am going to go ahead and purchase that sink and bring it out here and then we will uh, know for sure you know Thank goodness for portable power stations, right? Because we've had three days of nothing but dreary, whoop, rainy weather. So, in order to be able to work on the inside and actually film, I needed some sort of power. So, like I said, thank goodness for that. I'm actually offsetting these screws on every one so that I'll be able to drill from another angle without having to run over the top of the other one. Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the cabin. Um, doing my daily ritual <laughs> taking the dogs down to the creek and we're having a fit anyway it's a beautiful day outside and <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me talk over the parking or not all right let's go
Looks like they found a soccer ball that floated down the creek. Now you know he's going to carry that darn soccer ball right back up there to the cabin. He'll probably carry that thing all day long. What did you find? Did you find something at the creek? Did you find the ball? Huh? Did you find the ball? Huh? Did you find it? All right, you ready to go? Let's go. Let's go. I'm trusting that the measurements are right. Like I said, I can always go back and change them if they're not. They'll primarily be right here where the sink is. Trying to also keep the floor swept as I cut and do all this stuff because I don't want to be tracking it all the way through the cabin, that's for sure. Okay, so 
what we've got now is um, I'm going to be able to lay my plywood down on top of this right here. That will be uh, basically the bottom of my shelf. I'm going to measure up, um, put another one in here. But what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get the plywood um, cut for down here, lay that in there before I actually start this. And I'm going to have to go out. I got a couple of two by sixes left. So I'm going to have to go out to the sawmill, rip that down so that I can put my stock up for um, the next shelf. This will hold it in place real nice. Cut the studs right there. Okay, so what we've got now is um, I'm going to be able to lay my plywood down on top of this right here. That will be uh, basically the bottom of my shelf. I'm going to measure up, um, put another one in here. But what I need to do is I need to go ahead and get the plywood um, cut for down here, lay that in there before I actually start this and I'm going to have to go out. I got a couple of two by sixes left so I'm going to have to go out to the sawmill, rip that down so that I can put my stock up for um, the next shelf. This is the cutout for the sink remember. I've got um, one large door that will open up here. That way I'll be able to reach around the corner into anything and then I'm going to have one that will uh, I can reach around here for anything that might be on those corner shelves.
I decided <clears throat> what I was going to do, I put this extra post in here because I think what I'm going to do on the inside is put a piece of plywood straight up. So I added that little member in there and I kept that from going on through. Tell you what guys I really like this front porch um, it is fun to sit out here and just um, you know sometimes in the evening and um, just listen to you know the animals or the birds or whatever and uh, watch the dogs out there playing of course you know they're gonna be constantly trying to bring sticks up here and things like that for me to pitch out there so that, but thing is now that they don't really jump off the porch like they used to and I was kind of afraid because of their shoulders you know um, because it is about a four foot drop off of there, but uh, anyway um, I've got this and now they basically run down the steps and then take off But got a good start on the kitchen cabinets uh, getting it framed uh, And kind of getting an idea of what it's going to be like. I've still got to cut some more material for that second uh, section back there, but uh, it shouldn't take too long to kind of get that you know where we want it and um, you know hopefully it will be functional soon so my son my daughter and I guys we really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us up here at the cabin while we're working on the homestead trying to uh, make as much happen as quick as possible thank you for your support actually on both of our channels we can't thank you enough for that um, and you know if you're new to this channel be sure and go check out our website smokingmountainoutpost.com because we do monthly giveaways and it's there that you can find the information on how to enter. So guys, we just want to wish each and every one of you a great afternoon. You all take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.